A look inside Amenhotep's coffin. Thankfully, the mummy of Amenhotep I, which was first discovered in 1881, was never unwrapped because it was believed to be too beautiful to destroy. For over a hundred years, Egyptologists have been desperate to take a look at the face of Amenhotep. This year, thanks to the use of non-invasive CT scans, they finally got to see inside Amenhotep's mummy. The team based at the University of Cairo was struck by how much the mummy resembled his father, Almoz. The CT scans used allowed the team to see what Amenhotep had looked like when alive, rather than just a desiccated piece of meat. Amenhotep was originally found in a cache of mummies that had been collected, rewrapped, and re-entered in the 21st dynasty after two robbers had damaged them. The scan showed just how badly Amenhotep had been damaged and how much care the 21st dynasty priests had taken in repairing his mummy. His neck had been broken when looters had torn off a necklace, and the priests carefully reattached his head with a resin-treated linen band. They also repaired his broken left arm, covered a hole in his stomach, and added new gold amulets. For a long time, it had been believed that these priests uncovered and rewrapped old royal mummies so as to be able to rob them. The scans show the opposite is true. The priests not only treated these royal mummies with the utmost respect, but even added new valuables to the old mummies in a show of veneration. Endurance at the bottom of the sea Few archaeological discoveries grab headlines like the discovery of a long-lost shipwreck. 2022 was the year that the long-lost ship of the legendary explorer Ernest Shackleton, the Endurance, was discovered. The ship first sank off the coast of Antarctica in 1915. Shackleton had hoped to make the first land crossing of Antarctica, but his plans were scuppered when his ship became stuck in a dense pack of ice. He and his crew of 28 were left with no choice but to abandon their ship. For the next several months, they camped on ice floes, which carried them northward until they finally reached the uninhabited Elephant Island. From there, Shackleton and some of his men traveled another 800 miles until they reached the island of South Georgia, where they finally found help and managed to rescue the rest of their crew. Of course, by this time, the Endurance, a 144-foot-long, three-masted ship, had run out of endurance and sunk. Over the last century, there have been numerous attempts to find it, but the same ice that sank it doomed any attempts. However, this year, thanks to historically low ice levels, the members of Endurance 22, a team of devoted historians and underwater explorers, finally managed to find it. Using a remotely operated submarine, the Endurance was found 10,000 feet underwater, around 4.6 miles south of its last estimated position. It turns out the ship is in remarkably good shape, thanks to the frigid sea's lack of wood-eating parasites. Sadly, it has been deemed unsalvageable, as the ship is completely flooded with water. Still, the team's work is a fascinating look into a long-thought lost piece of history. Mammoths in Devon, England So this next discovery is technically more paleontology than archaeology, but it's still one of the most interesting discoveries of the year. When you think of British wildlife, the biggest thing that comes to mind is perhaps the red deer. And the most dangerous thing that comes to mind might be a particularly grumpy badger. It turns out that not that long ago, British wildlife was a bit more exotic. During the construction of new houses in Sherford, near Plymouth, some rather peculiar bones were found in a previously undiscovered cave. A team of archaeologists, led by Rob Bourne, was brought in. They discovered the bones of mammoths, woolly rhinoceros, and hyenas in a cave that had been uncovered during construction. The bones date back to around 60,000 to 30,000 years ago during the middle of the last ice age. While Ice Age fossils aren't a particularly rare discovery in the United Kingdom, finding so many in one cave is a much rarer occurrence. The Discovery of Queen Neat's Tomb in Egypt In November of 2022, 
the tomb of Queen Neith was found at the ancient necropolis of Sakura. A previously unearthed pyramid was discovered, which held 300 coffins and 100 monies, as well as a series of interconnected tunnels. What made the discovery so exciting was archaeologists had no idea who Neith was when she was unearthed. They soon discovered her name was Neith and that she was completely missing from the historical record. As Zai Hawass, an Egyptologist working at the site put it, it is amazing to literally rewrite what we know of history, adding a new queen to our records. Researchers digging in the ancient city of Azenoa have announced the discovery of many new artifacts and works. But the discovery of an almost intact statue of a giant man with one foot takes the archaeological biscuit. The ancient city of Azenoi was founded as a Phrygian city on the western end of the Phrygia kingdom, in the present-day Savdar Hisar district of the western Anatolian province of Catania in Turkey. Azenoi was home to the Azanatisians, Phrygians, Greeks, Romans, and Byzantines, and the site was rediscovered by European travelers in 1824. The German Archaeological Institute began excavating in 1926 and works resumed in 1970, with them having accelerated significantly over the last two years. At this site, that's listed on the UNESCO World Heritage Tentative List, over the years archaeologists have unearthed ancient stone heads and bodies depicting Greek gods and goddesses such as Eros, Dionysus, Aphrodite, and the demigod Heracles. This season, archaeologists greatly added to their expanding hall from this site, and they have announced the discovery of many large and small pieces of marble sculptures, including an almost intact giant man carved in stone. Bridge Building Amidst Stone Giants Excavation leader Gokin Koskin of Dumlupinar University said if these newly discovered statues were complete, they would reach 3 meters, 9.84 feet, to 3.5 meters, 11.48 feet, in height. The almost intact statue, representing the only one of its type so far discovered, features a gigantic, in ancient Roman terms, man measuring 2 meters 10 centimeters, 6.10, high. The statue is missing only half of its pedestal and one foot. And besides all of these unearthed human god forms, the archaeologists also discovered building blocks for Bridge No. 3, and they even unearthed a sundial. Unearthing a once thriving elite ancient city. During the Hellenistic period, the ancient city of Azenoi was controlled by the hegemonies of the Pergamon and Bithynia kingdoms only coming under Roman control in 133 before Christ. Gokin Koskin told Hurriet Daily that the newly discovered statues date back 2,000 years and said new artifacts are found every day. Koskin declared that this season's surprising finds made the team very excited, and especially in the area where the bridge crossed the Pankalus stream.